Since the beginning of the offensive in the north of the Kharkiv region, the occupation forces have lost most of the 138th Motorized Rifle Brigade in Vovchansk and wiped out two tank regiments, the 83rd and 157th. As Vitaly Sarantsev, spokesman for the Operational Tactical Group Kharkov, explained to Liga.media outlet, the standard number of motorized rifle brigades in the Russian Federation is up to 5,000 personnel and tank regiments have 94 units of equipment. According to the official, Russian brigades on this section of the front sometimes lose several dozen occupiers a day. This is confirmed by radio intercepts of the captors and the prisoners themselves. Because of this situation, the enemy is forced to introduce new reserves or transfer units from other directions. That is, it looks like this. A brigade or regiment comes in, attacks for several weeks, suffers huge losses, plugs the holes with reserves, gradually reforming the assault groups, reducing their number or the number of people involved in them," said Sarantsev. He added that it takes the enemy several hours to bring up reserves, but the transfer of a unit from another direction can take several days. According to the speaker, Russian reinforcements are unlikely to come in at 100% capacity while human losses can reach 40% or more. At the same time, according to the textbook, a unit is considered incapable of combat in the event of 30% losses. Sarantsev noted that the Ukrainian armed forces have already dealt with almost all of the Russian Federation units that are currently fighting in the Kharkiv direction. For example, the 155th Separate Guards Marine Brigade of the Pacific Fleet marked itself by looting in the Kyiv region at the beginning of the large-scale invasion. The 18th Motorized Rifle Division of the 11th Army Corps also fought in the Kharkiv region in 2022. Almost all of them participated in the war against Ukraine in one way or another, the speaker concluded. Earlier, Sarantsev stated that the number of Russian military personnel in the north of the Kharkiv region and at the border on the territory of the Russian Federation is approximately 30,000 people. The commander of the Achilles Attack Drone Battalion of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Yuri Fedorenko said that the enemy is looking for an opportunity to cross the state border line at another section in the Kharkiv region. Until the end of 2024, Ukraine will be on the defensive and the most favorable year for the beginning of offensive actions may be 2025. This opinion was expressed by military political observer of the group Information Resistance, Alexander Kovalenko. A group of 18 British servicemen from the Special Air Service were killed in a strike on Odessa. This was reported in an interview with the Telegram channel, Pool N3, which is linked to journalists from the Kremlin Pool, by retired Spanish Army Colonel Pedro Banyas. I have just received information that I cannot confirm, I asked for confirmation and they said it was accurate. These are sources that I have known for many, many years, 30 years, they are usually very reliable. So, the Russians carried out an attack on Odessa, which killed 18 members of the British Special Air Service, the retired military officer said. Banyas noted that another 25 British Special Forces were wounded. And they tell me that French soldiers have died. These are not mercenaries, who are French, no, these are soldiers of the French army, he added. Previously, leaked US intelligence documents revealed that 50 British Special Forces were carrying out missions deep inside Ukraine. There are also reports of casualties among the French, and these are not mercenaries, but soldiers of the French regular army. The exact number has not yet been named, but such one-off losses have not been seen since the war in Algeria. Earlier it was reported that a powerful explosion thundered in Odessa during an Russian air raid. According to the Telegram channel, Military Observer, the target of the missile strike in Odessa was the warehouses of Nova Pashta, where weapons and ammunition of Ukrainian formations were stored. The Russian armed forces periodically strike military targets in Odessa and the region. The last time explosions in the city were reported was on July 15, but no details were given. And on July 10, the Russian armed forces struck the port of Odessa with the coastal missile system, Utes. According to the underground, in particular, a warehouse with ammunition for the Ukrainian armed forces, where the missiles had been brought the other day, was destroyed. 